Hi and welcome to SQL Injection Master Course. Below is my web homepage and you can access much more details about me and can leave a valuable email to me. Now this email is really valuable to me and I expect that you all of will at least say a hello to me. Now let us again move back where we have left uh, last time in our video. I haven't changed it much, just I don't want to make a larger videos of half an hour or maybe one an hour. That's why I'm just breaking down these videos. Okay, so what we have done so far, we have break the query and we have joined it query. Now, what is actually the meaning of doing so much things? So now my meaning is, now here you can write any sort of commands that you can actually get. Now, the very interesting commands with the set of commands which we are going to use to inject in our database are structurally same in most of the cases. Uh, the only thing changes out is the type of injection or maybe sometimes some related things. But most of the time, the injection method is same. So what we are going to do, first of all, we need to find out how many columns are being used in this SQL query. Now remember that I'm not talking about all the columns in the entire website or entire database. I'm just talking about how many uh, columns are being used by the programmer in this particular query. Now, since I have written the two here, I'm just building a, a demo query. It's not a permanent or being actual query. So in order to find out that, I need to use a command that says order by one. And the law simply says of an SQL that the left hand side should be equals to the right hand side. If the right hand side will not be equal, it will prompt me an error. So let's check it out live on the website. So here it says simply order by one. And let's just check out. Okay, no error in the page. Now I'll be hitting some random numbers. So let's say order by two. No error so far. If I prompt an error by 10 here, that gives me an unknown column 10 in order clause. That means left hand side is not equal to right, right hand side and I need to decrease my number. Okay, so we are going to put it 5. I'm just putting some random. I actually don't know what's happening. So 5 is also giving error, means I have to reduce it. Let us give it a 3. Okay, 3 is working. Let us give it a 4. Again error. So that means in the notepad, I'll somewhere write down that the number of columns which are being used in the SQL query, this particular query, are three. So I have depicted as username password, but it's not actually correct. So I can say there might be some ID number as well, or maybe you can call it as column one, column two, column three, column A, column B, column C, or whatever. I'm just building up some demo query. Okay, so, so far, so good. Now what, how we can move that we have got notice that we have got three columns. Now the next part of the injection is to apply the union statement. Now we have to put union all select and I have to put the same numbers which I have got from the order by command. So it's union all select one, two, three, but no output. Now how does that happen that we haven't got any output? There is a simple logic behind it. Now, what is actually happening when I put here order by, let me put it here. Oops, union all select, one, two, three. Now, what is happening at this time that we have got two queries. The first one is this, and the second one is this. Now, at one time, only the result of one query can be displayed on the page. So what is actually happening? This query is out getting out on the result, this one, and this query is being, uh, you can somehow say is being off the page and is underlying just in this query. So what you can do in order to get rid and get the output of your query, you have to somehow get rid of this query. And the only way by you can get it is make sure that here the number or any value should reach to some value that uh, that actually doesn't exist. So in order to my, get that, my favorite way is to apply a minus sign. That is, you can put a minus one and I'm quite sure that minus one doesn't exist. So you will find out that two and three number are being displayed out here. Okay, but this doesn't mean this is the only way, the reason why we only have a motive here to put any kind of number or value that doesn't exist. 
So if I put, for example, a lots of nine out here, that also doesn't exist. And it's also going to return me the result. I hope you got the concept, but I'll stick to my favorite way. That is always to apply a minus one because sometime it may also happen that if you put nine, 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 and that also exists. So let's stuck with the minus one as I'm quite sure minus doesn't exist in the database. Okay. Now the thing to be noticed out here about the things is that whatever we have got here so far is two and three on the display column. So this two and three, if you notice on the URL, here is your two and three. That is the same number which is being displayed out here. Let's verify that by changing three to something like eight. Okay, so eight is out there. So that means you just have to make it equal on the left hand side as well as right hand side. One to three is quite easy to remember as we have to put the same number that we have got here and we can put them line by line. But that really means you are filling up the three digits. You can fill them by anything or any numeric value like one, two, three, or maybe five, six, seven. So that's the point. Okay, now it is telling that the result of only two things, that is two and th eight, that is in this place, will only be displayed in the page. So you can apply a lots of things out here. For example, in place of two, suppose you want to name the what is the name of the database, you can simply put database as a function here. So the database name is security. And in place of eight, I can put version as a function and it will return me the version name that is 5.1.41. So that's a pretty awesome thing. Now, what I recommend personally is let us put it as three and do all the stuff from this one database. So we have got a database name. Now you can also put one more thing that is at the rate at the rate version. That's just playing around with the SQL. The reason is we just want to find out the version. So we have got the database name. We have got the database version. Now consider all of these chapters as to be one of the challenge that you can have. I'll be just talking about the different types of SQL in much more detail. Since it's the very first and beginner videos, uh, I'll be explaining you on a bit handy and spoon feed purposes. I'll be showing each and every steps. Okay, so, so far, so we have got the version name as well. Now the important stuff is how to get the table name and quite other things. But for now, the videos are getting a bit longer and I don't want them to be a much longer half an hour videos. So, so far we have got this much only and let us proceed to the next video to find out and dump out all the database, including the table names, the data and everything in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.